Hello and welcome to tutorial number one in the LGT tutorial series for the Just Replay device. This series is made up of four tutorials. In the first one I will show you here how to get familiar with the startup window. In tutorial number two I will show you how the interface looks like. In tutorial number three how to create simple instant replays from one or several angles. And in tutorial number four how to create playlist clips and highlights so in this first tutorial you can see here that once you've started the device you will come to this startup screen it's a configuration menu where a user can set settings and but mostly we recommend using all these default settings which are simply the most normal ones and the most used ones in most productions in this top left window you have the format manager you can here select which format you will want to work with. You can also see how much data has been recorded in each respective format and how much approximate time left uh, calculated by your hard drive space. You can still record. Once your space will fill up here, if you get close to 90 or 100%, there will be warnings recommending you to erase data to make more room for more data. So please keep an eye out and do not start your device if you don't think you will have enough time left and space left to record your whole production. Deleting a data can simply be done by pressing add list as written in parentheses between each button. This is on the controller, add list, and then pressing yes or no. You can here to the right see the saved clips window. This window shows in each respective format what clips are saved. So if I now switch format in 1080i it's empty, in 720 it's empty, I have no data in it. In Paul you can see I've recorded five hours, almost five hours of data and I have two clips that are saved in this format. Meaning that if I now try to erase this format these two clips will not be deleted and they will be saved in all three angles. So anything you see in the saved clips list here are clips that will not be removed when deleting this format. All the rest, the rest of the material will be deleted, but not these specific clips. To delete a format entirely, you need to enter the recording and playout mode of the device, delete all your clips inside, then come back to this menu and delete the whole format. That is a simple safety procedure to make sure you do not erase any clips by mistake. So below here, my format manager, I have a transition settings and here I have some other settings. I will now go through these settings or by default, normal, easy to use. If I now choose a different format, I can see that for example, transition length has a different default in different formats. And uh, for here it's set to 8 frames and using the jog wheel or the mouse I can change this to anything between 0 and 50. Let's put it back to 8 frames. Here I have some default settings when creating clips as I will go through in tutorial number 4. It can be nice depending on your production to set these default settings to something else. The interpolation setting we recommend keeping off but if you want please try and do put it on sometimes as it may in some productions and with the correct camera settings give you smoother replays in slow motion but not with all camera settings it depends a little of your lighting of your cameras so by default it is off as in most productions people do not want any computer generated interpolation the sound setting here to choose which sound you will want outputted by the device if it is to follow the video or if, if it is to always be by the same input. So by pressing here I can set it to 1, 2, 3 or to be the active output. The preview setting when in preview mode as I will go through in tutorial 1 and 2 you can select if the take transition is a mixed transition or a cut transition simply by pressing here preview cut or mix. By default it is mix. The time code setting will show me if the device will generate its own timecode. You can choose to plug in an LTC timecode and use that, which is often quite more 
EC on the user or if you want to use the embedded timecode that comes with the STI in input number one. Once all your settings are set to your liking, you can start the device itself and start recording because when this menu is up here, when you are in the startup and configuration menu, nothing is recorded, nothing is played out. To start the device properly, you can then press either edit mode or record mode. They are exactly the same for one big difference. In edit mode, there is nothing being recorded. In record mode, you will, whatever you do, always be recording. That is, until you come back to this configuration menu. Once you have started record mode, to come back to this configuration menu, you can press shift and then your three windows on the controller. The one used to select your formats. So, let's now try and start by pressing play, as it's written here in parentheses, in record mode. Just to show you that it will now start loading. You can wait a few seconds. It will pretty soon show the interface, as you can see here. I can see here three inputs now playing. And on my controller, the LEDs just blinked. Once the LEDs have blinked, I can start working here in my material by jogging, playing, or just going to live like this. More on this in tutorial number one. Thank you for listening, and ciao.